Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping, and today I wanted to show you the Lined Alphabet Stamp Set. I have used this before on a scrapbook layout, but I want to show you today how it can be used for cards as well. I love alphabet stamps since I am a, a scrapbooker. Uh, they're great for that, but you can um, use them to make all kinds of uh, words that you want to make on a card. Um, maybe a word that you don't have a stamp for, or maybe you just want it, um, or a name. Um, I've done this with other alphabet stamps, but I haven't done it with the lined alphabet, and I love this stamp set. There are coordinating uh, framelits, which I don't actually have them, but there are coordinating framelits if you want to be able to cut these letters out, but I just fell in love with these letters when I saw them. They're about an inch in size. Can you see them here? And uh, they're all just lowercase, and it's just the outline of the letters that you get when you stamp them, just like it looks here. So these ones are would be good for if you want to color them in, or maybe draw stripes, or put dots, or something like that. But I came up with this sweet little card, and I thought I'd show you. All right, so I'm going to actually stamp the word hello, so the H-E-L-L-O. And I wanted to use the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper on my card, which is right here. Uh, this is one of the news and this is the paper in one of the new suites but I like this side with the stars and I wanted to bring in all the colors that are in here we've got gray granite pool party there's night of navy the soft sea foam and the petal pink so I'm gonna stamp hello and I'll go ahead and do that first in each of those colors so let me I have all of those ink pads right here all right and I actually just I'll just grab one at a time. So I'm gonna start with the gray granite. And I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. And let me just go ahead and measure this out for you. This is cut at three by one and three quarters. So three by one and three quarters. And it's just, again, just a plain piece of Whisper White cardstock. And since the lined alphabet is photopolymer, I'm gonna stick a mat underneath. Just uh, photopolymer always stamps just a little bit better on a foam mat. All right, so let me open up my stamp set. I've actually got my letters pulled out already. So we're gonna start with the H. Sorry guys, I'm reaching so much. Okay. So let me get my H on here and I'm gonna stamp that in the gray granite. So see, it doesn't even look like there's anything on the ink pad because it's just doing the lining of it. All right, so I'm gonna go H. But see, there we go, perfect. And I have my chamois right here. Again, it's purple, it will get stained with time and you just get it wet and then it stays wet for a while and I just have to clean that off and my stamp is all clean and ready to be put away. And I'm actually gonna stick it right back on here so that I don't lose them. Okay. Okay, so next I need to do the E. Sorry about that, my little guy needs help with his math. Yes, I know it's summer, but he has math homework to do this summer. And I think he needs help, so I will go help him in a second. Okay, and the E I'm going to do in pool party. Okay, let me get that right on there. And line it up. And remember, they're all lowercase with this stamp set. H, E, pretty. Clean that off. Put my E back. Okay, L. Actually, I'm going to close up my pool party, and I'm going to grab... Knight of Navy. Okay, and I'm gonna do my first L in Knight of Navy. H E L. All right, I'm gonna clean that off really good because I'm gonna do a second L. Make sure my L, I'm gonna turn it this way actually. Okay, close up my Knight of Navy. And my second L, I'm gonna do in soft sea foam. And actually, my soft sea foam earlier was looking a little muddled. So I'm gonna check it really quick on a scrap piece just to make sure it looks good. All right, that looks fine. Okay, so my second, oops, I got some ink right there. Oh, well, we're just gonna leave that. L, there's my second L. And finally, our O right here, and we're gonna do our O in the petal pink. I don't know how I got that on there, but that's okay. We're just gonna leave it. I think it's fine. If it really bugs you, you could just restamp yours, but I'm okay with it. Okay, and the petal pink. There we go. Oh, my O oh, is totally <laughs> way down low. What was I thinking? You know what, guys? Then I am just gonna flip it over real quick. You know what? We'll just stamp these all one more time. 
So we've got our O. Oh goodness. Well, you know what, I could edit this all out, but this is real life, so you know what, this is just the way it goes. Oh, it's because I need to lean over, but I'm worried about getting my head in the shot, and you know what, I shouldn't worry about that at all. There we go. There's our L's. H, E, we need the E. In the pool party. Okay, line that up. And finally, the H. Where'd you go, H? H, right here. And let me go ahead. So you'll notice my pool party is the old style of ink pad and my Knight of Navy. But my other stamp pads are the new style, so my gray granite here, which is the compact style. They're all the same, they just, it was time to change their ink pad style. And my H, there we go. And that looks much better anyway. Hello, hello. Okay, and I will deal with all that in a second. Now I can put my card together. This is actually a very simple card, so it's okay that we had that little mishap. Okay, let me pull out my scraps here. So I am starting with a piece of thick Whisper White card st stock, the A2 card size, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. I'm just going to fold this over and grab my bone folder. There is a lot of stuff on my desk right now. Okay, there we go. And my card's going to open this way, right? Next, I have a piece of petal pink card stock, and this is cut at five and a half, oh, see, five and a quarter by four. And let me just grab my snail. I like this petal pink. It's kind of like, um, like a brownish pink color, if that makes sense. Because we have a lot of light pinks now, which is nice, but they are all very different from each other. Okay, so there's the petal pink. Then I have a piece, here's that piece of the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper, and this is the one with the stars. You can see this side is petal pink and this is gonna go actually right before I stick this on I'm gonna grab a piece of pool party ribbon right here and this is the satin ribbon and I just want a piece a little bit wider then there we go now I can stick this on okay and that's gonna go on just like so Come on guys, let's get it nice and straight. Okay, then we're gonna take our hello here and I'm gonna stick this onto this piece of soft sea foam. So this was three by one and three quarters. So this is three and a quarter by two. And we're gonna stick this on here. And then I'm gonna get the adhesive on the back here. And this is going to go right here to the left. Then I'm going to take another, just a little snip here of the pool party. And I'm just going to tie a little knot. Hopefully this piece isn't too tiny to tie. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to go with a little knot. Let's see, it looks like it wants to go this way. And I'm going to make my ends just look a little bit prettier. All right, and then finally to finish it off, I have grabbed, let's see, some of our adhesive back. These are, um, I don't know what these are called. It's at the bottom of the screen. So they, depending on how you turn them in the light, they can look pink, they can look sea foam, they can look green, they can look all different colors. It's really cool. So I'm gonna grab some on here and I will show you how they kind of change depending on the lighting. And I'm gonna stick them right there. Actually, I'm gonna stick it just like that. And there we go. So can you tell when you turn it, see how, depending on the light, they look pink, they look green, they can look yellow. But there's my card, isn't that so cute? Hello, 
I think this could work for a baby card. I actually am planning though to just use it as um, a regular card. I think it's so sweet. And here's one I did earlier. This one, my uh, stars are a little bit different. Do you see the different colors those stars bring in? It's not so cool. So anyway, I hope that you'll check out the lined alphabet stamp set. Let me grab that right here. The lined alphabet stamp set. I think this is, these are really cool and very functional even without the frameless dies that come along or that coordinate with it. So anyway, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Bye.